hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be recreating this cute fall look and you can do this for a thanksgiving look as well because it has those thanksgiving type feel colors um so let's get straight to the video but first please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also share with a friend first things first you want to do is prep your eyelid you want to use a eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base I use concealer as a base just to cover up, um, cover the whole entire eyelid so that I can go in with my colors. If you want your colors to stand out and pop more, to be more vibrant, go in with a white concealer or you can use the NYX Jumbo Pencil or a lighter concealer that's lighter than your skin tone, just like I did. So first things first, I'm going to dip my brush into the brown and I'm using two different eyeshadow palettes one is the NYX Escape Artist and then I'm also using the NYX um, Phoenix palette so the first color I'm going in with is this dark brown shade and I'm just placing that right uh, right above my natural crease and I'm not blending it out yet because I want to make sure that the placement is exactly where I want it to be and then I will blend out and then right here I'm just going to do some circular motions as that lets me know this is where I want to stop I don't want this brown to go no further than that I'm gonna take a brush nothing's on here and just blend out the edges just a little bit and still keeping this rounded okay now I'm going to mix two different shades I'm gonna mix this brown with this red and I'm gonna dip into that brown first and then the red tap off the excess now I'm going right on top of where this line of the brown is and I'm blending it that way all three of those colors blend together and add more to the brush when needed I rather add <clears throat> excuse me um, a little bit and not too much at a time just in case it's not what you think it's gonna be or it's not how you want it And you can um, go back in with that dark brown and you can um, do one color at a time if you want but for me it don't really matter and still using that other brown and that red and I'm just blending that out then go back in with any more product on that side Okay. now I'm switching going in from the red to the brown tapping off the excess still and I'm just building that up just like that go back in to clean up this brown Again, nothing is on this brush. Get some more of that dark brown. And I really want that dark brown to really show up back here. So I'm placing it there and still blending it a little bit with the other color. So back here, circular motions and then windshield wiping motions when I move further towards the front.
and I want this still to be a little darker back here. I'm just going to add in a little bit more. Just lightly blend. <clears throat> and if you feel like you need a little more of that red and brown shade on here, just add a little bit more. Okay. And now to cut my crease, I'm going in with a NYX concealer. Sorry, not NYX, MAC. And <clears throat> you can use this or a creamier concealer. I recommend using a creamier concealer because it makes the process faster. But this one makes, I don't know, it makes me have more control of what I'm doing, I feel. So I'm going to have to look in this other mirror to make sure that I'm applying it right. So a good tip, again, place it on the eye. I don't know if it transferred. It did a real little bit, but. And use that as your guide. Again, you want to add enough so that the colors or shimmers will show through. And if you want your colors to really stand out, use a lighter concealer. Way lighter. And for me, it does not have to be as deep for this particular look because I'm going to go over it. Um, a little over the concealer anyway, but I just want to make sure that it's enough that it shows. And I like to just pat my concealer in to make sure that it's not too much concealer sitting in one place. And as you can see, I'm pretty much stopping like right here. I'm still cleaning up that concealer at the top just a little bit. And if you feel like your brown has disappeared, just dip back into that brown, not a lot, and lightly go over the same areas. Right. And don't worry about your concealer getting covered. Because you can just go back in and continue to press down without having to dip back in to your concealer. Okay. And now I'm going to take this cute shimmer. And just place that right on top. And I'm even going to go over that brown just a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with the brown to clean that up just a little bit because I don't want that to be too harsh. And then take my brush. And this is the one that has the red and stuff on it. Don't add anything to it. But you're basically blending those colors together. And right here, the brown has semi-disappeared, which I don't want. And then I'm going to 
at just a little more right up in here. Taking that brush for the brown. And blending those together. I added a little bit of that brown onto this brush because I really want <clears throat> to cover that back up without having to do too much. Making these two colors really blend together, bringing that brown forward. Just a little bit, just like that. Now, you, for now, you are done with the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, now I'm just prepping my skin and adding on some moisturizer. Um, I couldn't find my Nivea cream, so I just added a little bit of Vaseline to my face. And the Vaseline that I used is the Baby Vaseline. Um, now I'm going in with some SPF. Try not to put this super close to your eyes because it will irritate your eyes. Once you feel like that is evenly blended out, now go on with your um, primer. I'm using two different primers. The first primer that I'm going to use is the Fenty Soft Silk. And I did two pumps. Well, it's really going to be like three primers. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. Now with this, I add close to under my eyes because I want to make sure that my under eyes are hydrated as well. And I love how smooth that primer make your face feel. Now I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, but only on my nose and like the surface around my nose. So a real little of this since I'm only doing that area. <coughs> no, I, feel, I don't get oily down here really, but just in case, I really want that to stay put. And just press that in to place and then whatever is left I'm just gonna add it 
down my T-zone. Right. And then the reason why I said a third primer, because I'm going to also use the MAC Prep and Prime spray. This is coconut. Let that dry down just a little bit. Okay, so now that that has dried down, you have your foundation. Now, I'm going to put some powder onto my face. Um, before adding the foundation, mainly my nose, not really so much everywhere else, just mainly my nose. And this is the, uh, I'm basically controlling those oils as well by doing this first. And you can do this all over your face. I'm also going to put it down here as well as forehead. Foundation I'm using is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I'm just going to give it a shake. And about that much, I'm going to spray my brush as well. And kind of let it um, dry a little bit. And then just press into place and blend it out and add more if needed And I'm also going to lightly go under my eyes. If you're satisfied with the coverage, move on to the other side. For me, I feel like I need to blend a little more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm making sure I get my neck. Okay. You see? <clears throat> now, time for this side. And a little goes a long way. This is not a lot at all. I'm getting a bump right here. Under the eyes. And before moving on, I like to make sure that everything is nice and blended. I'm 
and as you can see I still have yet to go over my nose now whatever is left on the brush I'm gonna lightly do my nose which is barely anything okay and then add just a little bit to my forehead You want less product on your forehead and your nose, um, especially your forehead, because if you think about it, if you contour, your contour is gonna cover probably about this much of your forehead, so you only need product like right up in here. And then you're gonna add concealer there anyway um, to highlight it. And then I like to go in between my brows and blend that out as well. And this also helps so that my brows don't seem like they're really close together because they're not. Gently go around my brows. And take your time when blending uh, out your foundation. You don't have to rush. Okay. Now, if you feel like everything is how you want it you can spray your face again which i'm going to do because this is a matte foundation and i really don't use matte so i'm gonna spray my face with the prep and prime again okay now for the concealer for this look i'm debating I'm debating, I'm debating. So I'm going to use my Maybelline concealer. Because this is the one that's closest to my skin tone. And if your concealer is a light coverage the way that this one is, let it sit for like two minutes and then blend it out. Um, but make sure you test out your concealers because some concealers can um, dry down very fast and be hard to blend. So make sure you, you know, testing out your concealers to see which ones dry down fast. That way you know. Um, if you can let it sit or if you just have to go in with layers and add and I'm just bringing that down so let me do that um, on this side as well this side has way more concealer so I'm just going to dip back in and, and add some of that concealer Okay, now I'm going to take the MAC concealer because I want this to be a little bit lighter and add it there. Add some here and I know it really don't show or make a difference, but It will in the end and you want to make sure that so that it's not too bright underneath your eyes add a concealer that's closer to your skin tone shade and then go in especially if you have a concealer that's way too light for you then go in with your lighter shade for me I just like to go on top of the other concealer or um, if I feel like it's too light then I will go in 
over my concealer again with my foundation. So I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna blend this out. <clears throat> since this is my first time actually really using this um, MAC concealer, I want to make sure that it actually <laughs> don't dry down too fast or that I could blend it. And so far, so good, especially with that concealer because the other one does not dry down too fast. And I'm liking that coverage. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender to remove some of that excess and to help blend even further. My nose, I'm going to let that sit a little longer. Do I feel like it's time to blend this out? Probably. I'm debating if I should use my brush and then my uh, beauty blender or do the blender. Uh, I'm going to blend out the edges with the brush. And make sure at the same token, you cleaning this line up over here. And you can use your foundation bl uh, brush if you need to blend this out even further. You didn't have to do what I did and grab a new brush. But that's fine. Now go in with my beauty blender, still blending out the edge. And with the foundation, I mean concealer, I'm bringing this up also. Not too much. And just lightly press that product in. Still blending out that edge. Now, if you feel as if your concealer is still not light enough, just add some more. And if you feel like it is light enough, then you're good to go. For me, I feel like it's light enough. And I'm loving the coverage. Before going in with any type of powder, I want to make sure that it's nice and blended the way that I want it to be. Don't forget the crease inside your nose, or on the side of your nose, excuse me. Now. If you're satisfied, set it. I'm not completely done, so I'm not setting mine as of yet, but I am going to just blend out the nose. And I already kind of got like a contour thing going on. So I don't really have to contour if I don't want to, but I am. So let me get my powder together. So I'm still blending out that concealer to make sure I don't have as much creasing. Pressing that product up and in, going directly into my powder. Because 
I can't see, so it was hard for me to tell if the product was really going where I needed it to go. But I felt like it was, and it was. And I'm just blending that out. Not letting that powder sit. I don't want to bake. <clears throat> I'm not that I could if I really wanted to because I have dry skin and it will look a mess. Right? Now, everywhere that you added um, concealer, that's where you need to add that powder to. Ah, y'all. I'll be forgetting to blend that out. And don't worry about if it got on your lip because you're going to hopefully add on some lip products. Now I am going to let that sit a little longer as well as here, here. And then I'm going to add some on the side so we get some more power. <clears throat> add some on the sides of my nose. And then just lightly bring it down. Just like that. because I don't want it to be too harsh. Of a line from where the um, concealer is, you'll see. You don't have to blend that in. I just don't want it to sit for too long. Okay. Get a press powder to dust away any of the excess. And actually, before I do that, let me add some bronzer to my nose to contour. And to do that, I'm going to use the same concealer brush that I used to um, conceal the edges. I'm just using the tip of the brush. Maybe should we use something else? Yeah, let me use something else because that's going to be a disaster because it's too big. I'm going to use this brush. And I'm not really too concerned about um, that part just yet because I can fix it. And with this, kind of don't want to use too much, but enough. And 
I'm just taking that um, pressed powder. You can lightly dust away everything. I'm just pressing that into place. Nothing's on this foundation brush, but I'm use this to blend out the rest of that bronzer because I don't want it to be harsh. Now, if you feel like it's blended enough, great. I'm taking the other side of my beauty blender and just blending it out even further. And then the little bit that's left kind of bring some attention back to it just a little bit, not a lot. And if you like me and your brows get, you know, erased just a little bit, just add the line back and then slowly add some like hairs, just like that. Not too much and lightly blend up, lightly. Blend up. And then grab your sponge and lightly go back over. Just like that. Now I'm taking that clean side of my sponge with nothing on it just to blend everything out completely. And this is making sure that everything is nice and pressed into the skin. Go in with my bronzer. <clears throat> now, and as you can see, I have not blended this in yet. I'm just placing it where I want it to be. I don't know if y'all can see, it's like a little line there that's separating the two. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. And you can add on blush if you want. I'm gonna be using my Tarte blush. Going right over that concealer just a little bit some people like to add blush to their nose not me okay that same foundation brush it don't have nothing on it and I'm just blending that upward because you want that to be nicely blended. Um, everywhere from here on up, you blend it into your hairline.
and I'm basically making this line that was there disappear. And then here, bring that downward. Now, if you want to clean this line up a little bit, just take some more of your powder. I'm going to use a different powder. And I'm going to take the back of my beauty blender, get it nicely covered, nice and even, tap off the excess, and Give it that like fish face look. And I'm also gonna set this smile line area. I'm still cleaning up that line. I repeat the same steps on the opposite side. Get it nice, evenly pressed onto the sponge. Sorry, that's. One thing I hate about using loose powder, it goes everywhere. And right where you want that powder to go, press it. I'm gonna do the same, but whatever I excess I tapped off, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do the same at the top, but I don't know if y'all can see what I did there. Don't really want it right there. You want it to stop in this area. And I'm gonna lightly go around my lap. And I'm just using whatever access is in the top For this top part again you do not have to do it this way and then I'm gonna go over my nose and my forehead one more time and taking that little bit on the sponge going over my brows because you did conceal around your brows so you don't want your brows to get super oily or to be moving. Taking that powder, going in with the pressed powder, tapping off the excess. Just lightly feather away all that product. And as you can see, I only dipped in the pressed powder once for one side. Again, dusting away all that product as well as the brows and then lightly dust over the forehead to set that into place okay If you're satisfied, then you're good to go. Me personally, I'm satisfied, so I'm gonna set my face with the Prep and Prime. That's the first spray. Use a fan or a little booklet. I'm using a booklet. And because this is gonna take a little while to dry down, I'm gonna come back. Okay, if your face still feel a little heavy, go in with a different spray. This is three different sprays mixed together, so I can't really tell you um, what exactly it is. 
<clears throat> I know one of them is the Makeup Forever set. It's spray mixed with the All Nighter, and I can't remember what the third one is. And fan it again, and then I'll be ready for the eyeliner and the primer. Okay, now for my eyeliner, I'm just going to use my NYX Epic Ink Liner. And actually, I'm going to do the eyeliner and the mascara off camera, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, and for my lips, <clears throat> I'm going to be using a brown lip liner. And I just like my lip liner to be bold. I feel like it blends better when it's bold. For me. blend it together and then you want to do what works for you not what works for somebody else taking this elf lip pencil thingy this is wine i bought these like a few years ago in every color that um they had I'm going to add a little more of the brown. Hope you all like the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share with a friend.